Happy New Year. Well, Happy New Year to you, too, weeaboo faggot. Uh, the fact I'm fucking talking about this guy really shows how low I've gotten. I, I didn't want to make another video just because this guy was boring and I thought he was going to kill himself already so I didn't have to make videos on him. But then turns out he couldn't take another beating. He made a hate and shame video and uh, he was like, Oh, I'm a transgender. LOL. By the way, that wasn't edited together or anything. He had that at the end of his, one of his videos, so... Confirmed, either Yandere Dev's a trap, or Yandere Dev's going trans. You know, this is something we need to know. At the end of my most recent progress report video, I displayed a checklist of the last remaining features that need to be in the game before I'll be ready to implement the first rival. However, when I wrote this list, I... forgot a few things. Yandere is still back to lying to the internet, telling him he forgot shit, not stabilizing the fucking net frames per second. It has been mentioned that the game runs like ass. I have a great computer. This computer is really nice. I dropped so much money on it. I can't run this fucking game at Epic. I have to lower the settings. What is that bullshit? I should be able to run this at 60 FPS. Maybe even 120 fucking FPS. At the simple shit. But no, he refuses to fix the code and fix the frame rate. And yet he's like, Oh, the code doesn't have anything to do with it. Oh, do, 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 do. I have to say about that is just stop being a fucking idiot. Admit your failures and just kill yourself. It's that easy. He gets away from a lot of the media attention too. For the past few months, I've been going down this list and completing those tasks. Let me give you an example. If the police arrive at school, the player needs to know the results of the police investigation. Oh, hey, would you look at that? It's a useless shitty update that won't ever be renounced or talked about. Nobody's going to be like, Wow, remember that one update on Nary Drop? No, nobody's going to remember that shit because it's fucking useless. But you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm totally wrong. This update's helpful. Maybe it gives, like, qualifications. It says that, oh, how they died could be tracked back to blah, blah, blah. This person talked to this person. Maybe we're going CSI in this shit. We could be. I I won't I won't judge, okay? Let's let's just watch. For a long time I conveyed this information using text on a black background. Okay, there was nothing really wrong with that. I uh I don't see where you're going with this. What's wrong? However, I've always wanted this sequence to have visuals. Yeah, that's right. He uh yeah, it's it's just visuals. There's nothing fucking important about it. And they don't even look good. It looks like stock Unity walking and posing. It Oh, this game is just a giant Unity garbage fest. Instead of just words. Around two months ago, I finally got around to it. And now the police investigation sequence has 3D models and animations. Fucking hell, really? That, it doesn't look very good. Maybe if there was some more interesting takes on it. Maybe if it showed the outside of the school, police cars, other interesting things. I'm no game developer, but this looks like ass. It's like, oh, there's people who have made games faster and had them look better than this. They function better than this. They ran better than this. Let's not forget that one. And generally, they weren't dickheads to their viewers and uh, lying about certain content. I've always thought that there was too much empty space in the school. So what did you do to fix this problem is my question. Did you add more things? Did you add interesting details? Did you add possible Easter eggs? Did you add maybe like credit to some of the people you did in a secret like little block of text randomly hidden in the map? What, what did he do? Let's find out. So I shrank it. Don't look at me. Don't, Don't look, me. look at me. Don't look at me. Every day is so wonderful. 
and suddenly it's hard to breathe. Literally every time I watch these fucking videos, it makes me want to die. How fucking stupid is this guy? Oh my god, you made the map shorter and smaller because there's too much open space. Are you fucking stupid? Or is it because you're so ass at coding, you couldn't develop a larger goddamn map? Or would the game not be able to handle it? Fallout New Vegas. Let's take that. A game held together with rubber bands, paper clips, and band-aids could hold together better than your game. And your map is like the size, like, maybe 15% of the fucking size of New Vegas. What is actually fucking wrong with you? It always bothered me that every character in the game had the same face, so I added more variety. From now on, whenever the police identify a corpse, the school will hold a memorial service. If you look at the faces, they're not any different. They're like changed by an inch or... I don't know. God damn it. Why the fuck did... Why do I gotta watch this shit? 16, I expressed a desire to replace Yandere Simulator's inventory system. I considered a ring-shaped inventory, like the one from Hitman 2016. Every second he gets, he wants to compare this game to Hitman. Except, there's many things that Hitman is that Yandere Simulator isn't. It's fun, it's creative, it's actually inspiring, and also, let's not forget, it fucking runs well. Or a grid-based inventory, similar to the one from Resident Evil 4. To be honest, it, if he did that, he'd probably get sued out the ass by Capcom. They wouldn't want their feature being put in a shitty ass game. And why? Why would you bring up Resident Evil 4? Resident Evil 4 isn't even like this game at all. It makes no sense to even throw it in. I feel like you were just like, Resident Evil 4, I like that game. Uh, let me see if I can be, you know, relative to the generations nowadays. Next, I decided to look up the information I would need in order to implement a saving and loading system. Well, you officially broke me. I'm not reviewing shit for the rest of this video. I'm not fucking doing it. I'm just not. A game developer who has no idea how to do what now? Implement a loading and save feature. Really? Really? You're shitting me. That's like, first of all, you should have worked on that at the start of that. If it's so difficult, why not work on it first? And also, what? Why? It's like, you could have easily done that. There's smaller games that even have that. With smaller people, with less funds than you, who've probably done it. Seriously, you're just a dumb faggot. Please, take your own life. Wow, I got really hostile at the end there. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Now, I promise, no more videos on this guy. No more. Absolutely none. I promise I will not do another fucking video on him. I don't like doing these videos. They're just annoying. And he's annoying himself. So, you know, what the fuck else am I supposed to do?